Epson recently released a new ultra short throw laser projector for the budget conscious among us who wants that big screen cinematic experience, the LS300, and they're calling it the smart streaming laser projector. Well, just how smart is it really and how good is it at, you know, projecting? Well, I've been using it for a few weeks now and in this video, I will share my thoughts on it. Stick around. Hey guys, it's the Villaman here, home theater enthusiast and lover of all things tech. And on this channel, we review, demo, and compare the audio and video tech that entertains you. And today we have the recently released Epson LS300 Ultra Short Throw Laser Projector. Ultra Short Throw meaning that instead of sitting in the back of the room attached to the ceiling, the projector actually sits under the area that it will be projecting on, which is ideally a projector screen, but some people project straight onto their walls. In the box, you'll find the quick setup guide, the included remote with voice functionality, batteries along with the power cable and finally the projector itself. The projector has two height adjustable feet up front as well as a single foot in the rear for stability. On the right hand side of the unit you'll find the manual focus wheel as well as buttons for power, one to disable the image, Bluetooth connectivity and volume controls. The back of the unit has one USB port as well as two HDMI ports with number two having the audio return channel or ARC. And beside that is the mini USB service port and an optical out port for those of you with older external sound systems. The projector also has a built-in 2.1 channel Yamaha powered sound system and runs Android TV OS, which has all the apps and Google Assistant features you can expect as a result. As far as the actual picture this thing produces, it supports up to a 120 inch screen and has a display resolution of 1080p with HDR, though it does support 4K HDR input sources. It supports HDR10 and hybrid log gamma HDR standards and has a brightness of 3600 lumens. And since it's a laser projector, the lamp lasts up to 20,000 hours. That's in the lower brightness modes though. Using it at brighter levels will likely have an impact on the overall life, but how much is unknown. The LS300 sits right below the LS500, which is its 4K big brother. Okay, enough about the specs of the unit. How does it actually perform. Well, I had the projector paired with a 100 inch elite screens, cine gray ambient light rejecting screen. And like I do when I review TVs, I use some test patterns to see just how good the projector is at tone mapping and motion handling. And the tone mapping performance is actually really good. There was ample definition in the brightness tests from the darkest segments to the brightest. I've seen in the past where other displays would clip the details and have little to no definition in the brightest two segments. And the projector does a really good job there. Motion handling was good for cinematic content, regular TV watching, but with test scenes like the Running Peppers test, I did see some judder. The projector also doesn't have any motion controls to mitigate it, but thankfully it wasn't too bad, but it was there. Avid sports watchers may also find an issue with the projector not having any motion enhancement controls to smooth out the motion of fast moving content content in sports. The projector gets really bright thanks to its high lumen output and colors were vivid with some great contrast. The cinema modes had the most realistic colors while the vivid mode had the very saturated colors with enhanced contrast which made for a punchy if not unrealistic picture. When the room had a lot of ambient light from above the screen, the picture looked good, which is what you want from a projector like this. This is in part thanks to the high brightness output of the projector, but it's also dependent on the screen you use. So if you have a room with ambient light coming in, you'll need a screen that rejects it. To help maintain that color and contrast, there will undoubtedly be an impact on both the color and contrast in a bright room though. There is just just no getting around it. The black levels when there was nothing on screen were okay and in line with what I expect from a laser projector, meaning they were never completely black, even when there was nothing but a pitch black screen to be projected. 
but with that said it wasn't more elevated than the black levels i've seen on the lg hu 85 la either which is a much more expensive projector in regular viewing it isn't noticeable enough to affect the contrast in say a dark room though unless you have a portion of the screen with nothing being projected on like the borders of the screen i have here because the projector has a greater throw distance than the one i have in my setup the image on screen isn't as big at the same distance from the screen to get a 100 inch projected image, the projector has to be about 12 inches away from the wall and the image will be about 10 inches above the projector. The elephant in the room though is the resolution of the unit. Does it being a 1080p native projector have a big impact on the overall picture quality? Well, of course it does. The picture isn't quite as sharp as you get from a 4K projector, even if it's non-native. It's most noticeable on edges of objects which will have some aliasing. But if you're sitting far enough away from it, then it may not be that big of an issue. The closer you are to the screen and the bigger the image you're projecting, the more pronounced it will be. At 100 inches, I did find the lower resolution noticeable, but didn't find it overly distracting. But at 120 inches, I think it would be much more pronounced and as such a bigger issue. But of course, in the end, it will depend on your personal tolerances. The built-in 2.1 channel sound system actually does a really good job, especially considering its size. There are several sound modes to suit your tastes from the TV mode, which sounds full, but pretty normal to the theater mode, which dials everything up to 11. There's an impressive amount of range for something so small with clear vocals and some punchy low end bass. It's not to the level of a system with a dedicated sub mind you but i do think it would compare really well to a soundbar without a dedicated sub it definitely sounded better than i expected but i can't mention sound without actually talking about the sound that the projector itself produces Yes, that cooling fan. At the lowest brightness of 50, it is whisper quiet and not an issue at all. But as you go up in brightness levels to the max 100, it gets progressively louder. At 80, which I think is the brightness sweet spot, the fan in the system gets audible enough that you likely need to increase the volume to get around it. But it's still workable. But at 100, it sounds like it's about to take off. So who is this for? Well, I think it's for the budget conscious among us who wants that big screen cinematic HDR experience, but don't mind compromising on the overall resolution to get it at a pretty low price. At the time of this video, the projector comes in at $17.99, which is about $1,000 less than the budget 4K projectors I've seen. Let me know what you think about the LS300 in the comments below and share what display you're using in your home theater. Thanks to Epson for sending this out for review and thanks to you for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't. It's about time. Until next time. This has been your friendly neighborhood villa man saying be safe and peace.